Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Must Watch Tips. My name is Parth and today I am going to show how to make this video animation just by using Microsoft PowerPoint. I'll be showing you step by step tutorial where you can follow the same steps and you also can make this type of beautiful video animation. You also can export this video just using PowerPoint. And by doing this, you will be leveling up your skills by plus one in the PowerPoint. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. So to begin with, let me take a blank presentation by pressing Ctrl N and you can uh, delete this placeholder. So we'll begin with the blank slide presentation. And by the way, you can always uh, go to new slide in the slide group where you will find a blank presentation over here. So you can click uh, this and you can have the blank presentation ready. Now the next step would be to insert a video. So we'll go to insert and here in the media group, you will find a video option. So in video option, there are two options available. First one is you can import the video from your local PC or local drive. And uh, the another option is to add video from online. Uh, which are available on the internet so you can choose either of this i'll choose this video from my pc option because i have the video downloaded in my system so i'll click this video and i'll select insert so after inserting the video in your slide you need to check that the dimension of your slide and the video dimension are same and it should fit all the sides of the slide area so in my case i need to check because i have in imported the video from my local system but in most of the cases while you insert video from online it will be exactly as the dimension of the slide so you, you don't need to worry about when you import a video from online source and on the other hand if you import a video just like me from the local system then you need to arrange the video size according to your slide dimension or else you need to change the dimension of your slide uh, and you can do that by going to design and here in the customize option you can find find the slide size option and you can always customize your slide area according to this now the next step would be to duplicate this slide by pressing ctrl d so you can see that the slide has been duplicated and now uh, we will add a, a text box over here so we'll go to insert and we'll select text box we'll type beach so i'm typing a beach over here you can uh, add a text whatever you want so according to the theme i have uh, selected beach as a text and you can change the fonts like this so i'll select uh, this one because it is bold and looking nice according to the background and uh, this is it then you can play with the slide size if you want you can make it bigger so after finalizing the font style and size of this text box uh, now it's time to merge this text box and the video so we'll first select the text box and after that we'll select the video by holding shift button and select the video and if you go to merge shape option uh, by the way if you if you're not able to find merge shape option over here you can go to file uh, then you have to go to options where there is an option of quick access toolbar and then this by clicking all commands so it will be in the ascending order of the alphabets in the m series you will find merge shapes option over here so you can select this and add in the quick access toolbar and press ok so we'll find that button over here so you'll again select this text box and by holding shift button you will select the the video and in the in the merge shape we will select oh the other way around so first we will select the video and then we will by pressing shift button we will select the text box and then we will go to merge shape selection and we will select intersect and here you go so you can see that the video and the text boxes both are now merged together so if you play this you can see that the video is playing in the text area now the next step would be to rotate this original video in the first slide by 180 degree so we'll do this uh, like this and here you need to make sure that the orientation between the text box video and the original video is 180 degree and now proceeding further we will select this text box cut this and 
paste it into the first slide like this by pressing Ctrl V and if we'll select this text box there will be a video tools open for you so we'll select the video format and in this we will select the border of this video as white color and let us make the weight three points like this now the setup has been done and we need to change some formatting so we will select this video we'll go to playback and in the start option we will select automatically and we'll do same for the text box video as well so we will select again and we'll go to playback and we'll select automatically over here now if you want to loop this video until we press escape button or we end the presentation so we will select this video again and here you can see that the checkbox needs to be selected for loop until stop so we'll select this checkbox and we'll also select rewind after playing and we'll do for this as well loop until stop and rewind after playing and that's it for the playback setting and the next step is to add animation to this text box so we will select this text box we'll go to animation and let us apply grow and shrink and before that we need to make sure the size of this text box should be little bit small like this and we need to place this video text box exactly in the center of this slide so if you want to make sure that this video is exactly in the center then you need to go to home and in the arrange option you can align this in the center and again go to arrange and align this in the middle so let us see if i place this video over here so we'll select this again go to align and align it in center so it will come in the center and again if we align it in the middle so you can see that the video is exactly in the center of the slide area and in the animation pane we just applied grow and shrink animation so if we play this you can see that it is growing but it is growing up to the extent which we don't want so we'll go to animation pane so you can uh, activate this animation pane by clicking over here and go to effect option and instead of 150 we will reduce it to 120 and we will select ok and now you can see that the video is not growing up to that extent and the last step would be to change some formatting of the video so we'll go to so we'll first select the video and go to video format and in the correction option we will select this brightness 0% and we'll increase the contrast by 40% and we'll do same for the video in the text box so we'll go to correction and apply 40% contrast again we will delete the extra slide and we are ready with the first slide and congratulations my dear friends we have completed all these steps and we are ready with our presentation so let us see what we have made And if you like this video, please consider subscribing this channel and you can always visit our channel and there you will find more videos like this. So do subscribe and stay tuned.